All right, the presets on the Casio CZ 1000, 2000, and other uh, similar keyboards are just total crap. They just sound terrible. They're boring. They may be cool in the 80s, but I don't think so. I think they were trying to get to some representative sounds. Um, but you can do some really good stuff very simple with a few, few keystrokes um, using Detune and, and using some of the synthesizer elements to just, you know, reshape the existing sounds. Using the ring modulator, you can actually get some additional uh, coolness out of it. The noise to me, like, I like noise, um, but it seems like it's very um, unnuanced, so you get a, just kind of a heavy noise sound, which sounds very fuzzy, but not in a cool way. Playing with the wave as part of the wave distortion synthesizing technique, you can actually create exactly what you want. And the nice thing is, it gives you a little schematic on the board itself to show you how the waves work. The result is unique. You can get a lot of. Uh, sounds that sound more analog than you expect out of a digital board, but at the same time, you also can get some things that you wouldn't expect, and the, the envelopes can kind of do whatever you want, which is um, interesting, maybe not always applicable, but you have a lot of creative control with a very simple input. This sound is supposed to be a harpsichord. I don't know if any of you watching have played or seen or heard a harpsichord, but it does not sound like this pretty much at all. But I do find this sound quite useful for starting to make uh, new patches. 